the blessing of who they were with us each and every day. Our time of remembrance will now begin with the youngest lives lost. Jackson Couture and Adeline DeRogers. Helen Adams, Ronald Adams, Doris Albert, Terry Alexander, Dorothy Allen, Kenneth Allen, Constance Ames, Geneva Anderson, Patricia Armandi, Alberta Arsenault, Bertha Arsenault, Kelly Arsenault, Loretta Arsenault, Winnie Asselin, Elaine Alt, Norman Austin, Alexandra Avor, Mary Babbitt, Sherman Baden Owens, Lori Bailey, Roger Barbioni, Richard Burrill, Marilyn Barker, Raymond Barker, Donald Barnett, Thomas Barr, Joseph Barry, Thomas Bates, Judith Bean, Richard Bean, Wayne Bean, Marilyn Bean, Claire Beaulieu, Maurice Beauparlant, Thelma Boivet, Walter Beckwith, Frank Beale, Richard Baer, Lorraine Belanger, James Bellflower, Fred Bernard, Catherine Bernard, Rosemarie Bernard, Philip Berry, Holly Best, Eleanor Bogonski, Barbara Billido, Doris Byron, Charles Bixby, Chester Bixby, Maxine Blackburn, Dennis Blay, Philip Blake, Judith Blaney, Stacy Bloggett, Anthony Bloodin, James Bryce, Marie Brevere, Shirley Bowmaster, Beryl Bonney, Sandra Bonney, Mary Bordeaux, Louisa Bonnells, Faith Bornstein, Howard Boston, Maurice Bouchard, Laurie Boucher, Charles Boyer, Rose Boynton, Janice Brackenberry, Colleen Bradbury, Yvette Bragg, Kenneth Brenner, Joan Brinkman, Paul Brissett, Roland Bruchot, Cecile Brudier, Minetta Brown, Christine Brown, Craig Brown, Mary Brown, Patricia Brown, Andrea Brown, Kenzie Brushwein, Jeanette Bryant, Philip Burbia, Colleen Borger, Virginia Burgess, Omer Burke, Wendy Burnham, Suzanne Brousseur, William Kane, 
Raymond Caldwell, Jimmy Campbell, Marie Campbell, Peter Card, Richard Carey, Frank Carey, Lucille Karen, Thomas Carr, Harold Carver, Carol Case, Sandra Cash, Claudia Castle, Bertrand Castengray, Lorianne Castengray, Merle Chaplin, Pauline Chase, Ricky Chase, Philomena Shia Ravelotti, Norman Chick, Harry Childs, Philip Clark, Richard Clark, Claire Cloutier, Ruth Cloutier, Lee Clough, V. Coffin, Beverly Collins, Susan Collins, Delise Connolly, Dennis Connolly, Sandra Coolidge, Wilfred Coolidge, Jean Corvo, Patricia Corvo, Constance Cote, Jean Cote, Nanette Cote, Normand Cote, Raymond Cote, Remy Cote, Scotty Cottle, George Corbron, Joanna Couture, Norman Couture, Doris Coy, Sylvia Crafts, Eunice Craig, Maxine Cram, Jean Crawford, Donna Crockett, Daniel Crockett, Joyce Cross, Jeanette Croteau, Jane Cummings, Marion Cummings, Patsy Cummins, Linda Curtis, Betty Cushman, Rita Cushman, Ronald Cushman, Ruth Cusick, Eugene Dapmine, Leonard Daly, Clarissa Damon, Dennis Dandano, Erlen Danforth, Linda Danforth, Jolene Darling, Paul Darling, Paul Dara, Mark Davidson, Bernard Davis, Lawrence Davis, Robert Davis, Ruth Davis, Shirley Davis, Jean Dean, Jean Delatetsky, Nancy Demings, David Denbo, Lillian Dennison, Thomas Desjardins, Adeline DeRosier, Nancy Dexler, James Diaz, Joan Diller, Phyllis Dillingham, Donna DePietro, Mamie Donnell, Albert Donovan, Diane Donovan, Joan Douglas, Stephen Douglas, Kenneth Drake, Sally Ann Drew, Brian Duby, Kenneth Duby, Lorraine Duby, 
Roger Dufresne, Barbara Duguay, Roland Dumont, Gloria Dunham, Ralston Dunkley, Bertha Dupair, Doris Duplissis, Loretta Duprez, Paula Duquette, Justine du Duto, Patricia Edmonds, Priscilla Edwards, Reginald Edwards, Lisa Ede, Alan Ela, Christy Emanuel, Helen Emerson, Jeremy Faith, Beecher Falk, Marla Ferris, Edward Field, Elizabeth Fitzherbert, Helen Fitzherbert, Nancy Fitzsimmons, Dixie Flagg, Lillian Flagg, Maxine Folsom, James Folsom, Robert Fontaine, David Footer, Pauline Fortin, Alice Fawcett, Georgette Fouquet, Sally Fournier, Donna Francis, Blanche Frank, Annette Frechette, Dale Frechette, David Frechette, Carol French, Gordon Fuller, James Gagnon, Leopold Gagnon, Lily Gagnon, Donald Gallagher, Donna Gallant, Anthony Game, Phyllis Garrier, Florence Gary, Myron Gary, Nancy Getchell, Leo Jaguer, Robert Jaguer, Robert Gill, Barbara Gilliam, Paul Gerardin, Irene Gerard, Beverly Glines, Roland Gobin, Oren Goff, Brenda Gogan, Caroline Golden, John Golding, Randy Gottlieb, Keatman Graham, Betty Grant, Joyce Grant, John Gregoire, Patricia Grine, Dorothy Gross, Alice Grover, Muriel Grover, Lucian Gay, Joanne Gilometta, Ernest Guimond, Martha Hadley, Richard Ham, Louis Hammerschmidt, Frederick Harlow, Leo Harris, Nancy Harris, John Hartell, Gerald Hartley, Kenneth Hatch, Kathleen Hathaway, Malcolm Hawthorne, Donna Hawthorne, Sylvia Hosenblass, Arthur Hayes, Alice Haywood, Charles Hazelton, Genevieve Hazelton, Hargreaves Heap, Barbara Hebert, Mark Hedden, Patricia Heinz, Rosemary Hendricks, Michael Herman, Bart 
Hersey, Rose Hersey, Patricia Hill, Linda Hilliard, Stanley Hines, Donald Hinckley, Simone Hinckley, William Hurd, Dorothy Hobbs, William Holden, Muriel Holloway, Jacqueline Holt, Ursula Holzkamper, Lawrence Horn, Charles Hotham, Brianna Houghton, Christina Howard, Herbert Howard, J. Francis Howe, Carol Howes, Vernon Hoyt, Isaac Huey, Sidney Hungerford, Donald Huston, Pamela Hutchins, Sandra Hutchins, Marie Hutchinson, Joan Isaacson, Gary Jackson, Daniel Jackson, Marie Louise Jalbert, James Jellison, George Jenks, Hans Jenny, Tommy Jewell, Gordon Johnson, Harold Jones, Catherine Jones, Eugene Jordan, John Kennegeiser, Catherine Keeler, Ann Kendall, Thelma Kendall, Diane Kennedy, Lois Kilroy, Francis Kimball, Mervyn Kimball, Althea Kane, Richard Kane, Wanda Kane, Marjorie Kittridge, Roger Klitz, Kathleen Kluzak, Barbara Knox, Emil Coolin, Esther Kotala, Barbara Kolanda, Bertha Kolaski, George Labar, Anita Labby, Ernest Labby, Lorraine Labby, Richard Labonte, Paul Lacase, Gerald LaChapelle, Dennis LaFont, Donald LaFont, Arlene La Liberty, Virginia LaMontagne, Raymond Landry, Janice Langley, Dennis Lapril, John Latusha, Norman Levine, Ethel Lavoy, Rhonda Lavoy, Arthur Lawler, Karen LaBelle, Gerald Labrune, Joseph Labrune, Evelyn Leclerc, Beatrice Lecomte, James Laguerre, Elwood Layton, Peter Layton, and Kimberly Lacay, Patricia Levinas, Nancy Lewis, Barbara Libby, Maxine Libby, Kenneth Littlefield, Mesuko Livermore, Gary Locke, Tamara Lockhart, Nancy Longfellow, Ralph Look, Richard Lopez, Eric Lowe, Sylvia Lowell, James Lyman, 
Patricia Mayberry, Martha McCormick, William Mace, Norman Maddox, John Madigan, Edwina Mayette, Sophie Malone, Rosemary Marchand, Gerard Martel, Irene Martel, Robert Martin, Dwight Martin, Maxine Martin, Georgette Matthew, Michael Maxwell, Bernice McAllister, Marie McAllister, Christopher McGurdy, Diana McCutcheon, Mary McDonald, Edward McDonald, Catherine McDonnell, William McFarland, Rosalie McGuire, Bruce McGinnis, William McIntyre, Jane McKeage, John McLaughlin, Elaine McLean, Patricia McNear, Alan Meaner, Alan Messer, Therese Michu, David Milbert, David Miles, Alexander Miller, Lawrence Miller, Dale Mills, Philip Mitchell, Lee Moody, Michael Moody, Geraldine Moreau, Eva Morin, Rosaire Morin, Diane Morissette, Brian Morrill, Mary Morris, Daniel Morrison, Keith Morrison, Patricia Morrison, Janet Morse, Richard Morse, Teresa Machetti, Vicki Moulter, Peter Muliosis, Sandra Munster, Ronald Murray, William Murray, Henry Nado, Robert Nado, Ronald Nado, Stephen Nado, Alice Nason, Roger Needham, Margaret Nielsen, Irene Nelson, Lucille Nelson, James Nesbitt, Janine Newcomb, Kay Newell, Olive Newell, Kuyan Nguyen, Brian Nolan, Hubert Norton, Harry Norwood, Hartley Noyes, Herbert Noyes, Lena Nugent, Glenn Nutting, Jose Oliveira, Sandra Oliver, Kay Olmsted, Jill Olson, Kathleen Orne, Janet Oral, Lula Ulet, Paul Ulet, Phyllis Ulet, Irene Paganelli, Beatrice Page, Joseph Page, Kathy Palmer, Marguerite Parody, Robert Parody, Lisa Pardis, Joseph Parisi, Raylene Parlin, Madeline Parmenter, Patsy Pastor, 
Kathy Patterson, Albert Payne, Eileen Pelletier, Laura Pelletier, Roger Pelletier, Rosanda Penley, Lori Perkins, Dory Perry, Joseph Perry, Terence Perry, Ethel Peterson, Mark Petrie, Edward Pierce, Ernest Pinkham, Peter Piper, Gladys Placey, Edward Plaus, Therese Plu, Norman Plouf, Janine Poirier, Lorraine Poirier, Elaine Pomelo, Kathy Pomelo, Carmen Poulin, Renee Poulin, Brian Powell, Evelyn Powers, Brenda Prelich, Bonnie Pratt, John Prescott, Alvin Prevost, Charlene Price, Elizabeth Prince, Charlotte Purrington, Diane Putnam, Dale Quimby, Louis Quintero, Erlon Rand, Gerard Raymond, Edwin Record, Elaine Reese, Joseph Reinhardt, Barbara Raynum, Julie Rich, Kenneth Rideout, Anthony Ridlin, William Rivers, Margaret Robbins, Donald Roberts, Jane Robinson, Douglas Rollins, Emma Marie Rose, Dorothy Roulard, Jane Rowland, Joyce Roy, Annie Russell, E. Marie Russell, Wilma Russell, Elizabeth Same, Edith Sampson, Barbara Sanborn, Lowell Sanders, Robert Sandretto, Lawrence Sosier, Marjorie Saunders, Carol Savaggio, Paul Schwabe, Peter Schwartz, Johann Schwind, Francis Senat, Warren Sessions, Eugene Shainer, Sandra Sharp, John Sharpley, George Shaw, June Shedd, Joyce Sherman Tardiff, Mark Scheibels, Charles Simmons, Richard Simpson, Bruce Seitz, Madeline Smiley, Camilla Smith, Dwayne Smith, Janine Smith, Joan Smith, Philip Smith, Phyllis Smith, Ronald Smith, Suzanne Smith, John Sonnenfeld, Marjorie Soper, Kenneth Souza, Marilla Sparks, Susan Spear, Constance Spencer, Lyndon Spinney, Rena Saintonge, Kevin St. Pierre, Patricia St. Pierre, 
Delma Staley, Mary Stankovic, Lisa Staples, Alan Stasoulis, Carlisle Stein, Denise Stockwell, Noreen Stone, Caroline Strout, Lawrence Strout, Katherine Sullivan, Daniel Sullivan, Janet Sundstrom, Katherine Surrett, Nancy Surrett, Jacqueline Swain, Julia Swallow, Raymond Tangway, Sylvia Tardiff, Henry Taylor, Clifford Tenney, Anne Thanos, Rebecca Tiro, Robert Tiro, Paul Thurlow, William Tilford, Gary Tyner, Kathy Tisdale, Virginia Titus, Flora Todd, Emily Tolley, Rodney Touchette, Glorianne Travaglini, Nicole Tremblay, Jackson Tupper, Robert Turner, Robert Underwood, Ronald Vagner, Judith Vanderzee, William Vaughn, Martha Verrill, Frank Fertilla, Patrick Vinu, Paul Vangs, Marguerite Villeneuve, David Vittner, Martha Violet, Robert Vivian, Gertrude Fosson, Jacqueline Waite, Suzanne Ward, Richard Ware, Richard Warren, John Webb, Jean Webster, Candy Welch, Joan Wells, Stephen Wetmore, Deborah White, Janice White, Muriel White, Randy Whitehouse, Nancy Willard, Ray Williams, Jay Williamson, Constance Wing, Lendl Woodard, Deborah Wright, Bruce Worsell, Neil Wiley, Alan Wyman, Elizabeth Wyman, David Eaton, Beverly York, Barbara Young, May the readings of the names fill our hearts and spirits with comfort and love, both today and in all the days to come. And now for a moment, may the silence that we share continue to hold us and heal us all.
Yeah. 
Elizabeth Hart, the Hospice Medical Director and Director of Medical Services for Androscoggin Home Health Care and Hospice. We remember and celebrate with you the lives of those who have recently passed. They were members of your families or your beloved friends. We met them as patients who we cared for through Androscoggin. We are honored and grateful to have been invited into their lives and into your lives. By the nature of our roles, we enter people's lives in moments of incredible vulnerability and sadness. We accompany our patients and families through some of life's most tender and intimate moments. We recognize that it is a privilege and a gift that we are granted this intimacy by our patients and their families. This is an honor that we do not take lightly. We journey with patients and families through the ends of their lives and with you in your grief when they pass. In remembering your loved ones today, I offer these thoughts on behalf of Androscoggin, reflections that we hope may offer you some solace. Relationships do not end when people die. They change to relationships with memories and shared stories. Memories of lives well lived together and sometimes apart. In these times when contact with those whom we love is often limited and grief so deeply affected by distance, it is more important than ever to remind ourselves that there are a multitude of ways of being present and only one of them is physical. St. John Chrysostom captured this so well in just a few brief words. He wrote, those whom we love and lose are no longer where they were before. They are now everywhere that we are. His words remind me when grief wells up that those we have lost are with us always. They have touched our lives in ways that are part of us every day. Often we find that it may be helpful to name for ourselves the ways that they are with us, to share a story, to cultivate a shared memory, to ask ourselves what would they want us to remember most about them? What of them 
do we carry with us everywhere we go? What is their legacy? The gift that they leave us. We may find that we reconnect with our loved ones in our hearts and memories best by sharing stories. Or as my wise mother once said when she invited us at my dad's memorial service, let's tell stories about Don, the person, not Don, the patient. This invitation encourages us to create moments of joy in our collective memories. Maybe memories from childhood, if this is a loved one that you have known that long. Or maybe from how you met, if this is a cherished friend or your life partner. Or of a favorite family story or holiday tradition or mem remembrance. The moments of joy that help us to see our loved ones once again in the fullness of their lives. Moments that may have been harder to remember when so much may have become blurred by a focus on illness toward the ends of their lives. Let's pause for a moment now and hold a memory in that deep space of the heart that brings those we have loved and lost back to us, a beloved presence in our lives. As we grieve, it is so important that we give ourselves the emotional and physical space to grieve each in our own way, to be patient with ourselves and with our grief in the varied ways that it may present itself. Grief has its own, at times, unpredictable rhythms. It may ebb and flow unexpectedly sometimes at moments that unsettle us when it may be so unwelcome. In allowing ourselves these moments, we begin to heal and transform grief into growth. Each of us experiences grief that is uniquely our own, while grief and loss are universally shared. The poet Mary Oliver Offered, offered us a brief poem, The Uses of Sorrow, that speaks to that which grief and love and memory may offer us all. The Uses of Sorrow. In my sleep, I dreamed this poem. Someone I love once gave me a box full of darkness. It took me years to understand that this too was a gift. We close our time with a prayer. We bow our heads and breathe in the sacred air around us. We honor our own struggles with loss, sadness, anger, numbness, relief, and all the ways we feel our grief today. We ask for tenderness and grace for ourselves no matter where we are on this journey. And we give deep thanks for the lives that touched ours, those we honored today and those whom we still miss. We take this moment to offer one another peace and we take this breath to share and borrow each other's hope. And we take the next step we can to be a blessing to the world in whatever way we are able. May it be so. Amen.